What did I say, elites? What did I say? When Microsoft revealed the Xbox One, you know, what did I say? I said, I'm going to wait to E3 to make my final decision. Hopefully those exclusive, hopefully those titles will sell me. But and you know what? I, I have to give, you know, uh, Microsoft, uh, you know, their props. You know, I, I really do because they actually made me happy. You know, and believe it or not, I'm serious because this is the thing. They're saving me $500 this year. <laughs> That's the reason why they made me happy. It's me, the Elite Age, we live action. You already know what it is. Now, everybody else has pushed off their, uh, you know, video regarding E3 and the thoughts. Now, it's time for my thoughts on the whole matter. So, you know, I'm just going to basically talk about what I thought about uh, Microsoft's press conference, Sony's, Nintendo's uh, Direct, and the titles that I cannot wait for. All the titles that I was uh, talked about and showed during E3 on websites and whatnot. So, this is the thing. Alright, so, the uh, title of that video was called, Xbox One, Are You Sold? And, if you want to know the answer, am I sold? No. This is the thing. I am not going to spend $500 for that. No, I am not. Now, let's talk about the press conference, okay? So Microsoft's press conference. Okay. I was like, okay, let's see if I can see some titles, you know, that can, you know, some, some exclusive, you know, these titles to see if they can, you know, pull me in. Now, I'm like, okay, they showed the Metal Gear, which was, <sighs> that Metal Gear 5, beautiful. I've never watched a trailer so many times in my motivating life. I mean, the, the music, that song, I love that song. Every, everything about it. Don't get me started because I can just go on forever about Metal Gear. But, we all know, that's a multiplayer. So let's see, it showed the Metal Gear. Forza. Nope. Local Cycle. Nope. Quantum Break. That trailer did, I needed more than that. Uh, Rise. That, that it, it looked cool, but you know, still wasn't a deal breaker. Titan Fall. Now that, that looked very good uh d4 i never thought i would see d4 i swear d4 is a sequel to d2 or d i think that's what i was one of the names uh project spark you know believe it or not i may get some some uh shocks with this one the killer instinct that's that still didn't do it for me because it was killer instinct coming back was so rumor heavy you know it was people just kept on saying killer instinct killer instinct there was so many signs pointing to it you know it no, uh, Crimson Dragon. Never thought it would ever happen again. Pants for Dragon or Dragoon, whatever you want to call it. I'm a big fan of Pants for Dragoon, man. I've played every single Pants for Dragon except Pants for Dragon RPG, which is Pants for Dragon Saga. I love Pants for Dragon. My favorite one was Pants for Dragon um, Two in order on a Xbox uh, on the first Xbox. I never thought it'd come back. I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool, but you know, Dead Rising Three. That looked good, but no, Battlefield 4. That looked good, but you all know how I am with these uh, modern day first person shooters now. Uh, this Black Tusk unnamed title, no, the Halo 5. Yeah, that looked good, but that was expected. You know, it's like, okay, I, I do want the Halo 5, but keep in mind, everything I'm reading, I'm letting you know, is this enough or not? Mirror's Edge 2 looked good. I never got off into Mirror's Edge. Now, hold on. Now, people get that confused. When I say I never got off into something, they automatically assume I don't like it. I just never um, got off into it. Sunset Overdrive. No. Now, this is the thing. I know you're thinking, like, damn, man. It's like, it seems like Microsoft press conference rarely, you know, press. Like, you didn't want, you don't want nothing from what they show, but this is what you have to understand. Just because I say something looks good doesn't mean it's for me. You know, just like with these follow-ass females out here. You, you know, she can look good. You know, nice breast and ass and whatnot, all the bells and whistles, but is she for you? You know, not, I'm not even going to turn this to a real world topic. But basically, basically what I'm saying is, just because the game, oh, visually that looks good. Oh, that trailer was pretty sweet, but does that mean, oh, hell yeah, day one purchase? No, I know what type of games uh, I like. I know what type of games can appeal and cater to me, just like with my females. I know what I need and want in my life. So anyway, back to the gaming. Um... They, I, I will give Microsoft the fact that they kept it gaming. You know, they kept it that. So, I, I will give them that. Um, but they did not, um, you know, touch upon the whole issues and uh, what's the term for it? 
basically the bullshit that's going on with Xbox One. Because it's the thing, a lot of people were saying those were, you know, saying those were rumors before everything was, uh, before the light heavily shined on it. But if those are really uh, rumors, you know, you, Microsoft they would have cleared it up. But we all see it's it's as plain as day. You know, it, it these are not rumors. Um, so Microsoft press conference, it you know it was you know. It was alright, you know, it was, it was nothing mind blowing, you know, falling out of my seat with it. Uh, Sony's, you know, they show, you know, the order, which that, you know, that I do want. Um, oh, before I get to that, at first, I'm, I'm, I'm looking, I'm watching this press conference, and I'm thinking, like, come on, man, like, it, and I did think it was cool. And, you, and for the ones who are watching this, you know exactly who I am talking about. It's like me and uh, the other YouTubers and gamers, we're all on. Literally on Facebook putting comments thumbs up and whatnot, but we were all watching at the same time You know, I thought that was pretty cool and um, the order That right there I did like But with a oh, guy in the beginning oh, God, They were talking about the media man and all that extra bullshit No one cares about and then they started talking about those motivating rappers those I'm thinking like, come on, like Sony, like, all right, nah. And what did I put on my on Facebook? Fingers crossed for that verse 13. Before E3 started, I'm gonna tell you the titles I was looking forward to seeing. Verses 13. Smash Brothers, the new Mario Kart, a new Zelda, uh, more about Monoliths, um, Xenoblade 2, and uh, God, uh, Bayonetta 2. You know and. Those are the ones I was highly, highly, highly anticipating. And, um, you know, then Sony kicked it up a notch. They started showing kills on Infamous, um, uh, Gran Turismo, all that stuff. Like I said, I, I didn't really, I'm not into the whole, um, real life simulation racing games. Um, but the Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. You all have no motivating idea how glad I was to finally see that. And but that's not the best thing about the Final Fantasy versus 13. They pull it away from the fucking 13 world. Not as Final Fantasy 15. That's the thing I love about it the most. I mean, I'm seeing all this time that they're putting into versus 13 and freaking lightning. They're even coming out with the Final Fantasy versus I mean Final Fantasy versus Final Fantasy 13 Part 3. Now yeah, I did buy 13. I did beat it. Well, it, there were there were quite a few things I didn't like about thirteen. Then I bought versus thirteen. I keep saying it's, it's on the break. Then I bought thirteen two. I'm right now, right now, literally, I'm at the main boss. You know, I gotta, guess I gotta do some training, and whatnot, to beat that motivator. But anyway, then they announced a part three. Now Snow, he looks sweet on there. You know, he got the suit and everything, the long hair. He looked cool, and he's a somewhat villain fighting lightning. But at the same time, I'm like, man. I'm starting to get sick and tired of being sick and tired of seeing Lightning's face. Like, get back to Versus 13. So now they delivered it to us. With You can see they have been, uh, they really worked on the title. They have been putting in some blood, sweat, and tears. Um, unfortunately, no release date for the motivator. You know, I'm like, damn, you know, they, but anyway, I'm just glad they showed it. You know, I, I do appreciate that. Then they announced the Kingdom Hearts 3. Everybody really went eight nuts over that because people been wanting a Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, for years. Um, but to me, and I know everyone has been talking about this, but the freaking Ultra Combo, the final hit that Sony, what they did is when they just went ahead, you already know this was a spit to Microsoft's face. When they was just saying no restrictions, no always online connected, and it was seeing the crowd reaction. People standing up, people clapping. You see all them journalists, you know, those gaming journalists, they're looking down, they're tweeting, they're typing, taking pictures, everything. The, everything was spreading like the plague. You know, word of mouth is a bitch. And uh, let's talk, oh yeah, also, the design of the PlayStation 4. Uh, PlayStation 4's design, some are saying it looks like the brother of the cousin of Xbox One. Some are saying it looks like an eraser when, when it's lying down. But, you know, my thing is, yeah, it's... It, Upon seeing it, it's like, well, huh? But you know how I am. I don't give a damn how the council look. I don't get the council for how it look. I get the council to play the damn game. So, oh well, you're hearing it from me. I don't care about how that PlayStation 4 looks. I just don't care. Um, oh, and I did read an article. Sony stated that 
you know, that's not like the final, final, final look. I'm pretty sure it's still going to look mainly the same like that. They might make a few uh, authorizations with it, but the, also um, the titles, the overall titles. Oh, no, it was Nintendo. Nintendo. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. So Sony's press conference, I would say Sony's press conference, you know, I would give, I would, I would say theirs, theirs was a, good you know they at first like i said it started out real shaky people were thinking including me like come on man, like, what are you doing stick with the games like even microsoft are sticking with the games but sony's when they announced what they announced about you know you can do what you want with the games you know no always online connectivity and i watched shokio's uh review about the whole matter and he said you know he don't give Sony points for that because that's something they were supposed to do. You know, he don't give them props for that because that was something that they were supposed to do, you know, anyways. You know, that's supposed to be automatic. But I still give them props for that because this is why. True enough, yes, that's what they were supposed to do, but they didn't have to do it. They didn't have to do it. They could have been stupid like Microsoft, but that's the thing. They were smart. They, they, they know this is a business. At the end of the day, this is all about money. You have to be strategic in a business type of mindset. And that's when Sony was smarter than Microsoft, so that's why they get props from me. And of course, the way they just punked them basically on stage for that. I mean, right there. So, oh, and also for clearing it up because people were wondering about that. I remember when this was rumored, when those rumors were so-called true for both systems, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. You know, so now that they cleared it up, oh, oh and the price, come on, man, $400 for this next thing, that's, that, you can't beat that. You can't be the and they're not doing the stupid bullshit Microsoft is doing. So, to me, I would say Sony for this E3 beat Microsoft. Now, true enough, both press conferences wasn't like A Ultimate A Plus. Like yeah, but if someone was to ask me, in my opinion, okay, my opinion, Sony beat Microsoft. Uh, it's, it, you know, in the uh, in the conference. Yes, true enough. People will say, well, A's well. Well, Microsoft, they, it's about the games, right? Microsoft came with the games. They came with the games. But what good are those games? Do those games just negate, you know, um, negate the whole bullshit that these old business restrictions that Microsoft have with the Xbox One? No. Does Halo get rid of the, 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 the dumb shit that, that Microsoft does with Xbox One? No. Does Forza get rid of it? No. no. So that's my whole thing about it. So, yeah, they came with the games, but at the end of the day, it didn't fix what's stupid about the Xbox One. Uh, now, on to Nintendo. Yes, we all know they didn't have an on-stage actual press conference, but they had the Nintendo, uh, you know, direct. And yes, okay, now there's pros and, con pros and cons with this. They showed what I wanted to show, except with two titles. They showed the Smash Brothers. The Smash Brothers U, that right then. I don't care about that Animal Crossing motivator. I don't care the, the messenger, the villager. I never gave a damn about Animal Crossing. I just did it. But to have Mega Man on there. Finally, people have been wanting, excuse me, wanting Mega Man on Smash Brothers for the longest. When people seen Sonic and Snake on Brawl, some was like, yeah, some didn't like it. Some thought it was cool. Some people was like, okay, they're cool, but we still want Mega Man. Besides, Mega Man started on, um, on, a, on a Nintendo system, aka the, S, the NES. Same thing with Solid Snake, which, uh, which to me that's why it made sense why he was on um, Brawl. But anyway, I'm loving the way it looks. I can see the graphical uh, updates. I, you know, they, they did Link so sweet. You know, Link, he's my character. You know, you already know what it is. Link, that's my dog. Um, Bayonetta 2. That Bayonetta 2, I can see they've been putting in work with that. That looks beautiful. That really does. It, I, that's another trailer I watched over and over and over and over again. Um, also, the Mario Kart 8, that looks very cheating. Yes, those Mario Kart can piss me off at times. I'm real good at it. Uh, you know, I, I just can't wait to play all these titles, man. I'm thinking about when I, you know, when I get them, do an unboxing, do some Let's Plays and whatnot, play with my fellow uh, friends and subscribers, you know, play with you guys online with it, uh, regardless, if it regardless if it's on, you know, if the title's on PS4 or the uh, Wii U. If you got a PS4 or Wii U, I get down with whatever you want to get down with, um, but also, this Monolith Xenoblade 2. Seeing these games, you know, it just made me glad I do have a Wii. And they announced, you know, 14 titles, you know, 
for the Wii U and the 3DS. You know, uh, Deucey X, the new Assassin's Creed, uh, the Batman, uh, some other titles. But my the main those, those main titles I just that I was talking about those uh, first party exclusives. Those are the ones, you know. And have you do, and for the ones who have a lot of games or just a very few amount of games, but you have that one game or a couple of games that that you just love so much, you just put them above the rest of your titles. So you gonna play the hell out of those. So even though someone can say, well, "Dang, age," you know, so what? They just only announced Smash for you, Mario Kart, uh, Xenoblade Two, and Bayonetta. Wow, four titles. But the replayability and the enjoyment and the hypeness and the anticipation I'm gonna get out of them titles is is gonna be just up here. So basically, uh, what else? Oh yeah, and the HD uh, Wind Waker. But that man, I was just pleased with that whole trailer, man. That Xenoblade Two trailer it was just beautiful, just uh, astonishing. But of course, the the cons. No set stone release dates. Of course, damn everything was saying 014, 014, 014, Mario Kart, Spring of 014, and they didn't show a new Zelda, but that's kind of expected because they did state a while ago that Zelda is going to take some time. And that's understandable. This is Zelda, and that's why Nintendo first party titles get a lot of good reviews that it do, especially the Legend of Zelda series, due to the fact that, you know, it's, uh, it's Legend of Zelda. It's going to take a long while. But uh, my whole thing about it is, their their direct was, you know, it was a good, it was an okay good. But I, I was just glad to see the titles that that they showed that I wanted. You know, of course they didn't show no new Zelda. So another thing I want to discuss, we see now that Kingdom Hearts three and Final Fantasy Versus Thirteen are now. Well, it's announced they've been announced for Xbox One. I'm not too surprised due to the fact that when they were announced during Sony's press conference, it did not state. It did not state exclusive. So that's why I'm not too surprised. But I read I read a comment, you know, from my home skillet, Rami Aku Jolton, he's a fellow YouTuber. He was saying Sony's uh, seeing 50% less impressive now. And I told him, like, you know, he my boy and, and whatnot. But I, you know, I disagree with that. And the only reason I disagree with that is because <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 15 being available on Xbox One, like I said before my earlier in this video, to still not negate or excuse the bullshit that Xbox One, that Microsoft has done on Xbox One, it still doesn't. It still, it, it, to me, it just doesn't. So, like, like I said, matter of fact, for all the ones who are friends, uh, on my friends list, <laughs> On my Xbox, uh, Xbox, on my uh, Facebook fa uh, fan page. I'm a fan page, but let me see how much time I got left. All right, yeah, we good. For the ones who are friends with me on my Facebook page, you see when I posted on my timeline that comparison between Xbox One and PS4. Xbox One, mandatory online check. PS4, no online check. Xbox One, no gaming if offline for 24 plus hours. PS4, no 24-hour suicide check. Xbox One, lending games restricted. PS4, no restrictions on lending. Xbox One, selling games restricted. PS4, no restrictions on selling. Xbox One, um, used games restricted. And Xbox, wait a minute, which one I was to say? Damn. Okay, used games weren't restricted. Play PS4. No, not restricted. But see, also with Xbox One, it also states mandatory camera not the case with ps4 and right here xbox one xbox live gold 60 dollars membership okay we all know how that goes but that's required for netflix that's not the case with playstation 4 and playstation 4 is region free now they did announce yes you have to pay five dollars a month for the uh, online service however someone's saying oh that's bull but i mean five dollars a month you mean for the ones who saying that's bull there's, there's this old saying going around, only broke people complain about that. I'm not saying I agree with that. I didn't come up with it. That's just the saying. But you got to think about it. $5 for $5 a month, $60, you know, that year. Sounds kind of familiar, right? Exactly. Oh, and no backwards compatibility. No true backwards compatibility. No, 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 there's no backwards compatibility at all with Xbox One. So, also, one thing I want to talk about. It's the overall verdict of Xbox One. 
I am not sold. I'm sorry. Microsoft wants to, maybe, the, maybe it, I, I might get it in the far, 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 far future. Far future, okay? In the far future, especially when the price drops, because I'm not paying no 500 fucking dollars for, you know, for micro spies to just be all these restrictions. Why are you restricting shit? Why are you playing Puppet Master on gaming? I just, I, I, somebody gonna put $500 on this. They bought the system. Then it's like, okay, leave my shit alone. I paid the money for your system. Leave it alone. Let me do what I want to do with it. And as far as people saying the whole so-called restriction for PS3, nah, it's the same thing as this generation. There will no be, uh, there will no be, there will not be any restrictions for PlayStation first party titles. The rest, you know, DRM is all digital rights management crap. That's up for the third party developers. That's up to them. AKA the, the online pass. Something that's been going on this generation. So I don't see what the, so that's my thing about Elite's all. Oh. So all in all, the games that I was impressed with, this E3 that I was amped about and that I will get, Battlefront, The Order, Final Fantasy XV, Destiny, Metal Gear V, Tom Clancy Division, Thief, Castlevania, Dark Souls, Killer is Dead, Xenoblade 2, Smash Bros, Mario Kart, and Bayonetta 2. That right there. So all in all, to go over it again, Sony to me beat Microsoft between them with the conference. So PS4 and Wii U, for me, that's my thoughts about Elite. Give me your respected thoughts, comments, and concerns. This is me, the Elite Ace. Thanks for watching and signing out.